What's up, YouTube? Today I feel like doing an enclosure for Slink, something to put in my bedroom. So I'm at Lowe's. Problem is, I'm in that. Might not be the best time to want to do an enclosure, but we're about to see how the parts are looking. I don't know, you never know what could happen. And yeah, if you can't hear me, still the same old thing. It's me. I see my hair. Let me get that done. Don't judge me. About to check on this stuff for this enclosure, though. All right. Gonna see if I can get this stuff in the car. This is what I came up with. I got 10 2 by 4 by 8s, 50 pickets, a tub for them to swim around in. Some string for the viewing area. Got some plastic dip. Show y'all what I'm gonna do with that. Screws, locks, two bags of rocks, three bags of soil, bag of moat. Even bought a little saw in there. Got some spray paint. I don't know, this build might be about three hundred dollars, but it's got to be at least, we can go with at least five and a half feet long, at least four feet wide, at least four feet tall. Then with the top, I want to build it so I can put a tortoise enclosure on top of it, but still be able to open the screen for slinks enclosure without interference. So we're gonna see how this works and I'll get back with y'all. All right, YouTube, car loaded, everything generating up. Uh, take my brake lights off. Clear that. Okay, now how are we gonna get this in the car? Have no idea, but I won't slink it with a new enclosure. So we about to see if we can get all this in that hoogie doggy. Something gonna be hanging out the window, but whatever. I'll let you in a minute. Back at the house. Outside enclosure, tortoise enclosure, still doing great. All right. I got 10 of these. They're two by four by eights. And I got 50 of these pickets. They're six feet long, two inches thick. As far as the width, let's see. They're half inch thick. Well, they're these. These are the pickets. Got 50 of them. Not sure if I'm gonna need all of them, but I got 50. Two bags of rock. Bag of that Cypress blend. Three bags of topsoil. And yeah, I managed to get it in the car, which I'm sure y'all already seen. It was hilarious. They even had a police officer looking at me. <laughs> but we made it. Yeah. All right, see if y'all can pay attention. Well, see if y'all can see what I was doing. Not anyway. This is how I'm gonna do it. Pay attention to how it looks more like a frame. That's gonna be one side. Bolt it down over here. Bolt it down over here. Bolt it down over here, and over here. And depending on exactly what you're trying to do, it's always best to actually put wood glue in the cracks and then go ahead and bolt it down. I'm not going to worry about it, but just telling you. Be back shortly after I finish the back side. This is going to be the front. I'm about to put the back together just like this, both of the sides together, and then I'll be back with you. Peace up. I'm gonna show y'all the pieces. It's a lot of scrap around, but don't worry about that. I'm gonna just show you the basic with the pieces. This is gonna be 
one of the sides. Let me go around this way. You notice the inside is black. That is the rubber coating, that plastic dip. Got it on the inside of that one. That's another side panel with the viewing area. This right here is gonna be the front part of the cage. This is the back, hence no viewing area because it's actually gonna be going up beside the wall in my bedroom. That way a fat boy wanna come out of his cage and come holler at me, that's what he gonna do. As far as that plastic dip, it's this that works good. And I also got all the panels painted and they're dry. That's a side panel. Painted it to match my bedroom furniture. And like I said, you know sometimes wood is not perfectly straight the way it's cut. And sometimes you get gaps, but I definitely have that foam to fill that up. Then I can touch spray paint it after it dries and cures. And you'll never notice that gap. That's another side panel. Front, it's drying, and that's the back panel. Um, once everything is dried, all right, me and the kids on the last touches. Yeah, I said kids because they help. That's the black rubber, not worried about that. Now, as far as putting the pieces together, I'm using these. Top and bottom, they're gonna be, and this whole enclosure is gonna be ready for the viewing. I'll let you in a minute. All right, it's almost done. Oh, hope y'all can see it. That's the inside. That black you see is actually a rubber coating. I'm working on the, the screen for the top, and then I finished making the top. Already got the um, power strip mounted on the wall. I got him a huge hideaway and he's up under there, up under, he's on top of a heater rock, but he's all the way up under that hideaway. He'll probably come out later. And that's why I say, this is my bedroom. I'll show you the rest, but I gotta finish this and vacuum. Loose particles everywhere. Don't want y'all to think I'm nasty. Yeah, and that yellow you see is the foam. I put foam in for the cracks. It's completely cured. He's not going to bother it. Same time, I'll get in there in, in the morning and go ahead and um, scrape it out. Plus, I'm going to add like two more bags of cedar and another bag of soil. About to get ready to get his lights. But that's the side view in there. That's why I say I ain't showing so much right now because I still got a vacuum from wood particles and stuff doing this in my bedroom. But yeah, this came out pretty, pretty swiftly. And he should be able to stay in here. Full size, yeah, that yellow. I had cracks in there, I'm not the best carpenter. Don't judge me. That foam, it's all dry, it scrapes off, and yeah, you probably see a couple pieces on the carpet. I'll have that clean shortly and finish wiping this down. Uh, but besides that, keep y'all updated. Oh yeah, that's what. This screening, I'm sure you know how to do it. Well, if you don't, I'm just tacking it. It's tacked real tight. That's why I'm putting the lights on, so I'm about to cut that strip. I'm about to put those two down and then hook those up so that'd be part of the top I can move. And then the rest of the top, I'm gonna build in a second and have it here at the beginning, here with hinges so I can open this up cause I can actually get in this with him, it's so big. I'll be back with you in a second. It's to cut, start doing the top in a few and I'll show y'all those. Enclosure's done. Except for the minor, minor touch-ups, but like the foam, I gotta finish cutting that and then touch up paint. Got a little on the carpet, but no worries. Yes, I said this enclosure's for my bedroom. There's slinks, 
He's already out of his new hideaway, eating his food, looking at the bedding. You can see a little more foam there, but that's why I say I'll have all that scraped off shortly. Um, I built a little shelving system. I'm gonna paint it, but for now, I just wanted to make sure everything was leveled up. And of course, especially if you follow me, you already know, there's Tiki. And little Echo is more than likely in his hideaway chilling right now. But yeah, the tortoises are doing great. Thanks to Tortoise Town. Both of the hatchlings are doing great. And yeah, see the lights. That, but that's why I said. And honestly, this whole entire enclosure, I can honestly, truly say, costs right at $300. And it is huge. And that's why I say, don't pay attention to the foam. I'm, I'm going to scrape it. Still a minor touch ups, but the whole build is basically done. And that's why I say this. This is a big one, buddy. Customize everything to my liking. Yeah, and I'm sure you noticed there's no doors. So you might be figuring, how do I get in there? For one, he actually uses that. So I can get him to come up there, no worries. But if you look under it, like I said, I customized this to fit me as well as fit him. Now these right here, one, two, three, all connected. So it just literally picks up and I can actually fit in there. That's why I made it this size. Bond with my pet and this right here, I don't even have connected. And don't mind my hands paint on it just finished the bills um but like i said i can fit in there i can get them to come up either way and yeah it's good to go like i said this whole bill a little bit right at 300 and that's with taxes my something like 306 and change you really can't beat it in that's with the phone that's the paint that's the screening, that's all the wood. I mean, that that's the bags of soil, the bags of rocks, the bags of the mulch. I mean, yeah, you, you really cannot beat this. And the only thing I actually have to do now is I have another humidifier just like that. And you already know it's cheaper than one of those little reptifoggles or whatever. And I'm gonna run it straight down in there. But, like I said, till next time, this is Cut with Cut Exotic Pets. Be safe. Love your pets. Love your reptiles. Love your exotic pets. And I'm out.